And as these players have been talking a lot about what they want to do with that money, let's see who wants to earn it more in our first game. Haven. And we already have an idea of, at the very least, what Asians and Stellar like to play on this map, right? We saw it in the previous series, what they had, but looking already to try and shake things up just a little bit here, especially when we see the uh, Phoenix is being hovered over. Caprizo not wasting any time. We see Jet, we see Breach right off the rip, and those two agents being chosen so far, uh, with the rest being hovered, this is actually a pretty, in my opinion, Edge you a, a pretty strong composition. I would agree with you. This is the composition. This is the meta. This is something that has not changed for a while. The only difference being Astra versus Omen, and arguably not that big of a difference when it comes to uh, overall how the team still plays. Astra and Omen, yes, are very different in the agent game, but how this team is going to go, it's a it's an average game of Haven. So. I'm excited. Near mirrored team compositions. Let's just have some fun time. And I believe these players are going to try to pull out some fun strategies for us today as both of them are going to qualify for a $10,000 LAN. Choose your this agent. This might be pretty fun. So I am excited. Now, let me ask you, Sam, what do you think about Astra versus Omen as that is the only difference between these two teams? So you think about Astra, you think about post plant, right? Post plant, post plant, post plant. It's a strong powerful agent when it comes to making sure that you keep them off of the spike and also when we're looking at the fact that Asians and Stellar are playing on that defense they they take that away from them so what do you do with Astra then entry denial she is so good at being able to do that her gravity well may have gotten hit a little bit but the ability to at the very least delay things out and give your team the time to rotate back over. Astra's such a phenomenal agent when it comes to the map of Haven, but that's still not to say though, Edu, that Omen doesn't bring their own spice and flavor. When we saw that multiple times, right? You have the paranoia, you have a blind, and we even saw some, even though it wasn't on Haven, we saw some cheeky play, regardless on split, where a, an Omen TP'd into spawn, rotated all the way back onto site, flanking, and came up big time with that. And so Omen also has massive play potential that when it comes to entry when it comes to attacking also a very viable smoke agent and that's also why we're seeing it here on haven yeah i mean i feel the same way i think that we can really expect a lot from an omen uh you know the blind in my opinion makes him so much more viable on attack than on defense uh at least when it comes to you know how much value your control gets uh when you're with your team obviously omen he does have that global power but what is this they're already getting aggro and spoof is gonna get first blood gunning down clear and clearly we gotta see an a big c take here they're running it down seven is gonna be getting a one tap down on a one Zero capping, capping for cappers, but the cap is off when it comes to floor. Getting a double kill with the one sheriff, switching remaining. for more. Ooh. Now it's one remaining, and Battle that is not standing. it. Fu is still standing, and you're gonna have to clutch it up, foe. Come on. Oh, not quite there. Not quite. Not quite there. That was super unfortunate. They. This was the name of the game, right, for cappers. They wanted to go quick. They wanted to go aggressive. You saw the garage control that was being attempted by clear, but unfortunately didn't quite clear out that corner. Spoof was able to find them out, and then the sweep back in. It looked like things were going to go back into the favor of cappers, but then you got to remember, guess who's there? Floor on that jet. This is also interesting to see it from them as well, right? When they were on Haven, Floor was on Sage. And so now, just going to go ahead, abandon that idea, especially when we look back at that triple overtime. Just going right off the rip on the jet. Yeah, I mean, I think that's the strat. And obviously, we're seeing one jet go off rip three to one right now. Uh, so let's see how Floor is going to be able to balance that out. Obviously, we are seeing a big hold. Larry Banks is going to get so much info from that. Lots of gun. Lots of shots. Let's see if the KJ's making space seven. This is what I love seeing. I mean, I've been watching this guy all the way back since TSM days. So watching him just do what he does on this KJ is great. But he opens up the C site. And if seven could do that, this might be free. And it's actually not seven. It's 7-Eleven right now <laughs> with a little bit of a name change. 7-Eleven, <laughs> 7 2 7 something anyways. Uh, but you can see that cappers right now. They are taking their time leaning back over towards A, but clear on that lurk towards C, looking to see if maybe they might be able to pull someone out, be able to get a pick there, and that could potentially be found with Floor, but the numbers advantage has been given over 
two campers. It's still a really scary one. 47 with the amount of HP that they had, but clear, trying to clear out C site. Instead, gonna be cleared themselves. Now we're seeing Exa find one for their own butt. He's traded out by zero cap, clean headshot. That's still gonna be four. Spike down. That 3k now alone by themselves. Seven, open it up. Let's see if they can close it out. Locking sight. See this now. Oh. There you are, you little shit. Every time we have Trana, our wonderful observer, put the camera Just on floor, floor me. is doming dudes. The the one taps that floor can do proves why, why, why she's just one of the best players right now to watch and probably why so many people come into the streams to support them. So now, though, they're playing against a team that has violently taken, taken the first game. They actually won over by the B stream against jokers the previous winners of the mr fun haver invitational so fast it was a 2-0 sweep and when i say sweep they brought a dust pan oh my god floor what are you doing they wanted to meet them right out in the middle and at the very least walking away with one before being put down into the ground but still that aggression that's what we were talking about in the analyst desk had you you want to have that you want to take that space Nice, good picks yet again from seven, grabbing Larry Banks this time. This is their buy round, so I, I want to expect the least amount of deaths this round as they have a weapon advantage over the defense. And if they go towards A, that's going to be putting into close quarter combat where a Spectre definitely shines through. So there we go, case in point, grabs one, seven is down, but they're forced out and by after shock, shockingly going to get that kill. Kimmy now swings remaining. and it is more than merrier to get the site one remaining. Stellar, the clutch god we've seen before. Can he do it again? It's gonna be difficult, right? A 1v3, you're stuck with that sheriff and vandals are firing at you. A million miles a minute going up into heaven after the recon dart came out, but Kimmy's still gonna hold on to this corner, waiting to see if anyone's coming through heaven. Now looking towards the skies above, saw the shoulder. Stellar still dipping in and out, maybe to be able to get one more exit frag with his sheriff. The idealistic that you can look for. They do get the headshot, but a quick concussion to slow them right down. And Va is gonna end it right then and there, giving Cappers their first round. Wow. Cappers takes it down and that's pretty solid from them. I think that what we saw from Fluorescent was so aggressive, but it made sense. You had a wonderful blade storm available on round three. You yeah. use it just to get an insta frag, and then you turn up with an op on round four. So smart plays monetarily, but now we're going to have to see if that op is Let's worth the fun. investment of an ultimate, of getting to this point. This is the round that counts. It is. We're going to see what this Seaside execute is. If it's going to come to fruition. Exa caught out by the recon dart. Information being given, but for an operator, a hope and a dream is going to rip them away from zero cap their life. And already opening the doors wide open as we see the B-side execute happening soon. Yeah, and Spoof's going to grab that pick down on a clear. Might be able to do another one with Stellar's help. All you got to do is swing. Fluorescence there, Mind leaving down, one. Beat. But one is not done. Foe is the foe in the battle. And unfortunately, Larry Banks is going to bank on the fact that they're low. And that's going to end the round. Great advantage there from the defense. And we're already seeing the change over for floor to have this operator in their hand. And to be Jet now, right? Instead of Sage. So much opportunities. So many different ways. They're locked in now. They came out for that last series. Firing on all cylinders with Jet. And I'm going to give this to you real quick, Edu. This score line that Floor is sitting at right now here in only round four rounds played, 10 and 2. Well, I mean, yeah, it's Floor. Where's the shock? Where's the awe? It doesn't matter because this is the Floor Jet that people are have been hyped about. Twitter's been hyped about. And just esports scene here in Valorant. This player is... Honestly, one of the biggest celebrities in the tier two scene, and let's see how it works, or and in the GC scene, arguably Boy, the best wrong. player out of GC. I'm putting that in full force right here. It's still though, a trade for a trade inside of Stewart's pick for a pick. Larry Banks come back around, seeing if maybe they can get another, but no, Kimmy sees them there, setting themselves back up floor, waiting for the opportunity of someone to be bold enough to walk into their op shot. The tailwind is going to go away but floor undeterred is still gonna be that trailblazer 
to push their way onto a site but no one quite yet wants to push that envelope campers feeling it and you can see the pings going crazy and to get that clear here the hunter's fury to be the entry boom there we go no grab seven down with a clean flick might be able to do it again all you have to do is get one but no the wild shot using the game left. sense does not make sense here in getting the pick anyways but looking at this we're seeing a flank spoof spoof's on a great angle here planted and got for one, one is two that's what we got for us beautiful job see it's all about taking that space right and you it's all about getting that map control and you need to scoop on that lurk give them enough time oh, and they're gonna no, execute no, on you just good, like that you said one two it's like buckle mind shoot just like that and now we're seeing the lead continue to further here for asians and stellar that that operator from floor is continuing to prove to be a very valuable purchase for them and the, as, as their score line is just continuing to improve time and time again and it looked like things were going in favor of cappers right they had sewers control they had that long control they're able to execute on there they're able to plant down the spike but it just wasn't able to get much more out of that afterwards yeah i mean it shows here that when you have a large amount of players that know how to position themselves the games look heavily in your favor and also when you have a jet going 11 and 2 i mean that that could be one of those factors but what is the attack to do to break through this obviously they have to rely on clear to try to penetrate when it comes to the entry that a jet can bring and clear hasn't really been able to do that yet so far we haven't seen this jet really get any entry frags or any frags at all now they hear the tailwind inside of the garage knowing that the turret picked up a little bit of information you should run it's leaning towards c the lockdown going to be expended but spoof is going to wait right there and unless someone's going to be watching it this could just be easy for them to destroy no baited out seven realizing that someone was going to come for it x got to get out or lock down Speaking there, head, little head out zero is going to be blown up. Larry Banks to do the same as Buh. Gimme and Wong. Them eliminated. Spike, Spike down, down seven. Eleven. Alone. Going to pick up one more. Lightning. Now needs to win the one he Yeah, well, it looks like seven's not going to be able to do that one. But good round. They got onto site. Again, though, the bomb just never seemingly touching things. It, it's only been able to be planted once in this entire uh, game so far. So what we're looking at now is a round that everybody's kind of forced to do what they can. Looks like seven forcing up and going no armor vandal, which is as glass cannony as you can get with this kind of money. Let's see what they can accomplish, right? Honestly, you... yeah, I, I think that they're going to have to take it slow, uh, Sam. I'm already seeing that. It, it, you say slow, but they're Looking pushing kind of fast inside a garage. On the flip side, though, Seven's on the other end. I think maybe they can get a pick here. X is not going to give up oh, too much of that. They come Ooh. through the smokes, but that rolling thunder could be the entryway. No. Bo's going to try and go with the back line. Spoof! Oh, that 2k remaining. make that three garage is under their control and anyone who even seeks to come out of that domain is going to be met with the full fury of their anger now six and one for asians and stellar wow okay so you're right you got me i said that they needed to play slow and they weren't doesn't change that they needed to they got I agree. rolled I agree. there. Uh, you know, you, when you have the weapon disadvantage, in my opinion, especially on a map like Haven, where you have a lot of space to work with and people are spread thin, take it slow because then you get yourself one pick before the fight actually starts and you have a gun to work with. You know, you start maybe leveling out the playing field, but when you just get run it down, that that's a little different. Ooh, okay, Floor. He's going to continue picking it out there getting rid of the turret but going back to what you said i mean they even use right here. the rolling thunder to try and execute on site maybe foe and a, and a quick flank oh a beautiful flashbang Spike right to larry banks a. picking up two headshots wow. a clean job but clear is on the scoreboard with a nice clean knife kill but spoof is gonna grab foe and that is huge but of course these guys now ready all we have to see is how stellar is gonna hug a corner and use the pinch angle from floor and their position up in heaven. I mean, this is a very common place, but with an ultimate from the Astra, it does just buy a little time. But now, look how much time they have left and how few players they have left. 
and you can see they're they're trying to decide how they want to go about doing this they really want to make sure they do not get caught in the crosshairs of that operator and you see them peeking in through sewer trying to figure out what to do here trying to figure out where to go and how they're going to go about executing this 30 seconds it's left still with 30 seconds still in that corner unreal exit come back support their teammate this is looking very clean for each seller as you yeah i mean for a seven to one score line 12 to two jet we got one round one which was the round that came from a bonus the first time in the past hour that these teams have or this team of cappers has had the ability to pull out a advantage over someone when it comes to how much money they were rocking so solid from that but now they're just kind of forcing up all over the place. I mean, right some there. people can buy, some people can't, and they're putting whatever they can forward. I mean, Seven didn't even buy anything this round. Yeah, He's it's just like the sitting reverse. at a classic. Yeah, it's like the reverse, right? Where the rest of the team were buying Vandal, where we're, we're light buying, they forced out a Vandal. This time around, just sticking with the classic, seeing if they can recover that economy. And the complete, utter standstill. And you, you can see that this is a moment where Cappers wants to maybe be able to pick off anybody from asians and stellar they've seen the aggressiveness time and time again but this time around though asians and stellar they're just waiting back right they're seven and one there's no need for them to be aggressive they know this is a light buy why put your head out there and even more so if seven wants to go up through c long they're going to be met with an exit judge yeah i know look at this floor now kind of just going ring around the rosy on the bottom of the site will be found and there is clear that is the clear i know that's the clear i've casted many times before they're online now and that could change what? the pace of the game and look at this seven manages to get a kill with the classic they're working it out here but spoof is still standing and they know seven's on the flank now with a newfound gun a judge One remaining. but there's that nothing judge it was there at you it was there. It was. Yeah. It, 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 it was right in their sight lines for Cappers to be able to take this round. But you leave Spoof alive, and Spoof is not going to let things go without them having to say anything about it. It is over. With the help of Larry Banks as well, it just all unraveled so so quickly. And it was like you said, clear. We saw them. We know them. We love them. The entries that they had going on to B side, taking over the high ground especially, and getting rid of Floor. It, it felt like there was that opportunity there. And even more so when you look at Seven getting the kill on Exa. They had the Judge. That's a massive pick. They get the Judge themselves. But in the same way that Exa died out, they didn't get any value out of that Judge whatsoever. That Judge was basically nothing. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a cosmetic equipped here. And unfortunately, underneath it was a dead KJ. So not exactly what you want. But let's see if an op can still drop some players here. Eight to one is... This is, I, I gotta say, you were watching the entire time for the semis here. This is a change of pace. I had, I think we just watched the grand finals. I mean, it feels like that in how the semis went. And this one, it's starting off heavily favoring AAS. Especially when you talk about defense, right, for them. When you think about Haven, you think that could have been dangerous for Larry Banks. A little bit of information, just a crack and the smoke enough for clear to see them, but not enough to get that kill. Forever. Larry Banks is not going to be deterred, though. Still going to stand strong. They're going to be flushed out by the aftershock, but no death to happen there just yet. Bullseye. Larry Banks clean, getting the recon dart, supported by Stellar. Three right A. there. One enemy Stuck remaining. on the ground, nowhere to go. Wow. That's pretty clean. But now flawless. it's going to be Exa just swinging, yes, and a flawless comes God, through yet again here for this team. And that's just, I, I press tab and it is, that timeline looks a little rough. It does, right? The, the one round they were able to win. I should play some Astral Stars in this reality. A, a, an obvious round, right? Pretty much Whoa. the gimme. But now we're seeing Ooh. a time. First time out of the night? Yeah, that's what I'm, I'm a little surprised. I mean, game, the match one that we saw in the semifinals of those, the last two teams, not a single time out. Arguably, at the dismay of, of some people who were watching, I would think that you'd want a timeout in that game. But this one, we're now finally seeing it be pulled out on round 11 of the half. So this is a little late coming in, but better than nothing, in my opinion. So, Sam, 
you're an analyst you tell me what do you think these guys need to be doing here or are talking about what's the new strat on the block what's going to be working it I, I, I feel like it's got to be something about their site execute, right? It, it's mm -hmm. either they try to go aggressive, doesn't work. They try to go slow, then they take too long. Guess what happens? Asians and Stellar just collapses on them. And so I feel like something might be a little bit off with the with the timings that they have. They want to, the, the, the engagement, they get a little, I think they're a little scared right now, honestly, with mm -hmm. how they want to fight it. You, you saw it, especially in that last round. The smoke went down, but they saw Lucky there. They didn't push. That could have been, that could have been an easy pick. But they're yeah. more, I think, afraid of getting picked than getting the trades back. there. Where if you'd gotten lucky, that could have been a huge opening pick to railroad yeah, yourself ahead. onto A. Yeah, and now, I mean, this is kind of just setting themselves up. They're going to try a different strategy, similar to how they won third round. They split up just a little bit and allow seven to go for the lurk, as one does on a sentinel on attack. But now they don't push A until any noise is made, any misstep is played, and someone gets a little too aggressive for their liking. Because not a whole lot of information has been gathered yet from the side of defense as to where attack can be yet. So once they do hit, it could be a surprise, like this angle. Oh, it was. The timing, it was a surprise, but Larry just has a better reaction time. And Clear had no HP either. It just body shot was all that they needed, but finally, there we have it, the signs of life coming back over for campers able to get the spikes planted first time we've seen that in quite some time but having to contend with the lockdown that's been planted aftershock needs to break that but it's going to give them a little bit of room to get on there before the retake happens and spoof is already going to blow the door wide open with a pick on the zero cap cover going on i'm picking to make or break oh, everything actually re-hitting the site though makes it look easy and it's an op in their hands and let's see a flick of the wrist to finish it they're gonna do is get one seven does do a decent chunk of change but no way what is that what? okay all right all right this entire match is going on floors free and twitter i mean come on that's, that's going on Before every esports highlight reel the amount of times i have seen asians and stellar this team pull out some absolutely wild shots through smokes it's been 30 times in the i've counted 30 of the times they've killed someone through a smoke with the only info being game sense right and, and, and even big right seven making a little bit of noise Here. moving footsteps like that but uh, floor floor is just built different that that's that's all that can really be said about this operator now drone's gonna give Give him a little bit of pause, but it's not going to be enough to... Oh, oh, Spoop! Oh, that was a big whiff happening right there. When the buff comes in, the singer's going to clear the mount. Floor stuck inside of that Hunter's Fury now to respond oh, with the Hunter's Fury. Clear what is going on? Spike down, C. Uh, there's a guy. He's rushing, he's hunting, and he's remains. killing everybody. And now it's just a massacre. So clear, you are the last alive if you lose this. One enemy remaining. See, I don't want to say it because it would be sad, but it's a 1v1, 27 HP versus full. No dash anymore. No escape. Does have two smokes, though, Sam. Does have two smokes, but the spike is all the way over there. When it's not Larry makes all the gun just in time. And again, it happened again. Clear just has no HP. The body shots are all Larry Banks needs with HP. Side. There you have it. That's going to be the first half. Asians and Stellar. I don't think it gets much better than that, right? 11 to 1. I've lost one of these before, but uh, I will admit that. But in a competitive scene, it's happened a handful. I can count the amount of times that an 11 to 1 comeback has happened in esports. On yeah. one hand. So, I don't know. I think that... This is going to be a very tough battle or a very quick reside into next match or next map. Well, we're going to see. I, I mean, Asians and Stellar were very confident. They were very dominant in their pistol round, completely shutting down the aggressiveness from campers. And now we're going to see what the aggressiveness, how that's going to work for them. Clear is wanting to push out towards mid, but this full push in through C long. Seven is going to have the world on their shoulders to try and fight through. Getting away from that hit with a paranoia, blinded by their own teammates. Really getting out in the nick of time, but once they come back around, guess who's there? Full. 
Wow. Floor's here for it. Now ready to now push back on in. These guys have some pretty solid gameplay to make it work. There we are. We're, we're clearing out, seeing if we can find Spoof, but Spoof is still on the lurk. That, that, if they can do this again, Spoof has been disastrous to cappers. But now we're seeing clear on the lurk their own edge. They have the ability to go. Clear one. And the track is just not there. I mean, that's what you do. You got to run and gun and just become the distraction. And that's what they were able to do and really pulled it out there. So good stuff. Uh, but looking at this next one, looking at this next round, it's either you win it or we're going to game two. It, it really is boiled down to as simple as that, right? You, you, you win it. You, that's it. There's no other choice. And so I wouldn't be surprised if we see some sort of force up here. Yeah, right, we got shares. We're seeing a Bucky. The power of the Bucky, right? Bucky's been kind of going burr lately. So I wouldn't be surprised if we see a massive amounts of kills from them. But it, it's just, I, I think positional positions just have been working out well for cappers. I mean, seven was just in a horror, like all for all for position for KJ. Now we're gonna see right in, cleared. Nice headshot. Wow, I mean. It's gonna hurt, but that hurts a little more. Seven coming in, but seven's dead. And the shock dart from Zero Cap. This is what I love seeing when I watch this player play. But that is the Bucky now on the floor, and the judge is just gonna tap away through it, finding a new gun, going for the flash. But watch behind you. Kimmy swings and does not miss a bat to the head. It's where that's gonna leave Spoof in a 1v2. Spoof, you've won these before. But you're pinched. That is how to win it, and they do win. So. Comeback? Question mark? This is where the comeback begins. And you, there's, there's, it, it, it's gotta happen now. 12 and 2. Yeah. You just gotta win in rounds in a row. That's, that's not that hard, right? And then you get into overtime. It's just not impossible, right? Maybe. I, I don't know. But it, it's still a, a long road ahead of campers and agents and seller. A rare misstep from them in what feels like a, a pretty perfect map that they've had on Haven. Yeah, I mean, it feels definitely perfect. I, I know that these are pretty confident players, but now looking at this next round, this is a comeback here for them. Clear, needing to get out and get the high ground. Should be able to hopefully find one pick. Because one way, ever since they nerfed Jet, is honestly, in my opinion, not as strong as it used to be. Wild card, wild guess, but stuns are coming out and seven is coming up with a one tap might be able to do it again but stellar shuts them right on down clear ready to get the trades but it's the sheriffs and the blinds that are coming in one and done three v three and of course they have to get that gun but kimmy's watching it and guess who's coming up right behind you to assassinate you picking up the bulldog a ton of upgrade floor is just not missing with these sheriff headshots the spike has been planted for long rotate back over towards that C long hit with the paranoia, but nothing to follow up through it. Not even the push that's gonna happen there. Fuzz gonna try and clear as best they can, but now the floor getting a nice Last big gun standing. upgrade, hearing the shadow step happen. They've been taken out. Now this is all in the hands of Fa to take down Spoof and get that spike defused in time. Now Fo is a gamer, so might be able to pop off here and will. So, hey. Come back, it's my, it might happen. Obviously though, that was a Come safe on. round for the side of Asians and Stellar. So I don't know if that's gonna impact them enough in, you know, a nine round deficit. I don't think so either. Uh, floor is not gonna fall by because you just whip out the knives and we know that Floor is very, very scary with them. On the other hand though, you can see that the buy is for Capris is not looking good. Seven not quite able to make the full buys that they want. We're seeing Vandals, Light Shields, not able to get all of that full utility either. So this is just a, a moment where, yeah, you're looking towards what is the game plan right now way. for them to be able to win out here on Haven. It's going to be so One difficult, down. especially. Oh. However, though, oh. seeing back and forth, A site is a battlefield. One that's oh. leaning towards Asian stuff. Yeah, see it. Oh! 
Good job, good Last job, player Stellar. Standing. But one it's L1v1, remaining. and Larry Banks, Spike you have to clutch A. this. You have to prove yourself better than Foe, but Foe hasn't faltered before. And of course, using their blind, they have two shadow steps, one smoke, one on its way, and one away from an ultimate. Shadows traveling. They do get spotted, but they just go for it. Comeback time, everybody. I mean, there's a poll happening in the Twitch chat right now, so let me ask you, is this is this a time where people need to change their bets? Oh, come on, foe. You can't be that BM when you're eight rounds down. Put the BM away. Ooh, I love it. I love it. Now bring Brent it all out right. two rounds and brings <laughs> out the, the face hugging. All right, come on. I think any time you're going to do it right is when you clutch out the two rounds and you give the gift for... Uh, let him, let him have it. Let him, let him right, have the glory right. yeah, and the honor yeah. that goes along with it. You can have that. Will you have the game? Please I wait to see. But rare. they can't. But they can't be mad though, right? When Asians and Cell are all group up, five stack and start Standing returning the favor. Oh, it's, I, here's the funny thing. If they win, there's not enough time in the post round after a match is won because it all goes <laughs> slow-mo. You can't do what he just did anymore. So Foe has this secret technique that can't even be done back to him. So good job on that one. Next game, <laughs> however, I don't think you get the same pleasure. Well, we're going to see what kind of pleasure is going to be happening here on this B site. Execute. Spoof. Trevor. Pushing forward once more. Hot inside of the bus, but not going to push the issue more than that. Catching them out is Kimmy. With their gun away, clear though. The aim is on their side. The headshots are clear as day. Like maybe planted. Now we're gonna see the rolling thunder being put forward. They have hurt the updraft, but clear is gonna get out of the other side. Yeah, and Bo not able to hit this head. It's gonna have to try again. But look at this—a swing and a miss. Clear on a triple kill. Player standing. And I think they're just gonna stick it. We've seen this happen many, many times. And so okay. Dude, just get ready. get some cool shots. It'd be neat. Aw, oh, it wasn't neat. Uh, you got an injury. You got an exit frag, right? You looked really cool on the, on the cams, on the feed. I think really right now, though, as you... It's, it's, I think over aggressiveness is happening from Asians and Stellar, right? They're wanting to push out so far, feeling very confident about the fact that they have this huge round differential in their pocket. That clear is just taking advantage of it. They push through... They push the smoke to see Spoof do that, even though they were supported with Floor helping them out. It's just clear. It, it feels like they've activated. It feels like they just needed a little bit of time now because if you look at the scoreboard, they're sitting 14, 16, and they came out of this one with four kills in their pocket. Yeah. It's definitely been able to cook up a lot here. So Stellar, let's see what you are able to do. Then able to now rock it up. Nowhere to run. Oh, see. Oh, wait. Clear. No way. Wait, clear! No way! Clear! clear. I just sang your praises! Oh my god, the chat! Clear decided instead of hitting it. the enemies, hit so your keyboard. Do. What is going on this game? I don't know what's going on this game either. And I don't think Capris does. Larry Banks, fearful for their life, but somehow coming out of that Hunter's Fury with a jet right in front of them and still able One enemy to secure remaining. the kill. Now we're gonna see Fa do it again, but there you have it, Attackers closing it out. Win. 13 wow. to five, Asians in Cellar Haven, map one. That was a fun match. Even though it was a quick one, it was fun. I think the a little bit of a comeback, the tiny bit of BM, everything kind of accumulated into a neat little game, uh, but as chat predicted, 93% of the votes going to Ooh. Asians and Stellar, 164 votes. Whew. Okay. Congratulations, some... guys. You were able to read between the lines, and <laughs> wow, what a what a great statistical chance. But you can Sam. Room. How, yeah, how did that feel? Uh casting that one? Because that was fast. That, that was fast, right? Uh, and I'm sure our analyst desk is going to be able to have so much to talk about, Edgy, when it comes to what we just saw here on Haven. But I, I, I enjoyed some of the adaptation we did eventually get out of campers. It was just obviously too little too late. Now throwing the question back on you. You've been here. You've been casting. You casted previous matchup, Asians and Stellar. Uh, 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 what are you feeling about them right now? This is just clear superiority. I mean... 
well clear superiority sort of the guy had the best combat score but when it came to asians and stellar i mean it's stellar and then ever the team is so stacked with players that it's how do you beat that obviously i love the team that is on cappers zero cap i've been following since his days on uh, btr fan club i've watched seven all the way back a year ago when he was on tsm and i cast it over that match as well Fu or foe i've also worked with and, and all of these players i've seen pop off get first place get prize money cash out succeed success all of that and it's a wild thing to see them get shut down yeah. i mean floor you can't do that to people you know it's like there's a thing that people like to have called pride and you're hurting it <laughs> it's evil it, it really is and remember floor played a sage and on Haven, the last time we saw them. And now they switch over to the Jet. 20 and 8. Let's just go ahead, drop a quick 20 and 8. And uh, take home a nice big share of the $2,000 prize pool. $1,400. That's what, that's, what, that's what Asians and Stellar have their eyes on right now, Edgy. Yeah, I mean, their eyes are glued on. But let's see what Trotta thinks before we move on to our next map. So we're going to switch it over to our analyst desk, which I think a familiar face might be. And, and you know what, Edg? I would agree with you. A very familiar face on here. A big thank you to our casters, though, for guiding us through that map. Trotta! What a crazy haven! A 13 to 5. What Honestly, what a crazy haven. I like. You can tell that that was their map pick. 100%. Oh, yeah. And them starting on, on defense. Uh, they're starting on defense this whole series. I, I'm actually, like... I was, I was so surprised... It was 11 to 1. Uh, at that yeah. point, it, in my head, you know, I would say GG's go next. You know, they put up a little bit of a fight there. 13 to 5. Okay, you got a few on the board. It's It, it could have been worse. It was worse at one point. But, um, yeah, fluorescent with the op, I just, just duck. I, I don't even know She's what to say. Menace. <laughs> She's a menace. That's what she is. You see floor, you see an operator. Well, you're not going to be seeing anything else because once you saw that, you're pretty much dead immediately. But now we, we, we got it. We got our, we got our map one done. Map two, ascent. Trana, you know, we, we talk about the fact that Haven kind of the dust two of Valorant, but ascent could also kind of be said the same way. Ascent is a fan favorite. It is a, it, it, it's a competitive favorite. It's such a well balanced map that this is this may give cappers that advantage that they need towards finding some crack in the armor of Asians and Stellar. Yeah, no, I 100% could see that. I mean, realistically, if there were to be an op on, on the map, it, it would play towards like a main or, or mid in general rather than Haven. You can play any basically five entry points and you can you can peek a peek a long angle. I don't I don't know if we'll see that as much. Um, I also think this could be helpful for cappers too, in case they want to, I don't know, get more uh, risky and, and play some shotgun plays, play some Odin plays, um, more kind of just a, a defensive strap, but that's also kind of once they get to defense, they're, they're starting on attack, and if if uh, Asians and Stellar's defense was anything like the Haven, I don't know how many rounds they'll have on defense. Yeah, at the very least, right there, Asians and Stellar Haven defense was a little... Uh, okay, I'm trying to find something. I'm trying to find something. No, it was pretty much perfect. Yeah, the, <laughs> it's, it's just so difficult, right, to stand up to Asians and Stellar after the titanic performance that they've given them. But if there's any team that can do it, it is going to be campers, right? And there's a reason why they were able to make it this far into the qualifiers. They've secured themselves that second place spot or the second place spot. Sorry. They secured themselves that top two spot to give them into the land. That's going to be happening in Texas. So a really, it's still an exciting moment for them and still something that they can pull back because you got to remember too, when we look over at what happened between Asians and seller and uh, uh, torch plus, we look at that final map of split. That was also still kind of, a map that we weren't expecting to go that far in favor of Asians and Seller. And so if they can maybe, maybe just Haven wasn't their map, but Ascent, Ascent's figured out, Trotta, we pretty much know what metas are going to be looking like here. 
we pretty much have an idea of what Asians we're going to be seeing. So I don't think we're going to maybe a little opportunity for something to go crazy. I know one of our pre other casters, Zobi, she's bored of a set because of how stale the meta is here. But we we've seen Reina's come out sometimes nowadays. That yeah no that actually is true and that's kind of a good point. I I feel like it, it won't be the the basic set comp you know I feel like it, especially for for cappers they need to try something different they they need to work differently here to get the upper hand and and I think that might be why they might have picked a scent you know um but I think we're kind of ready if if we can throw it back over to uh you and Edu on the desk. All right, I think so. Looks like things are getting ready nice. over there. So we're back. Edu, we're here. We're going to see just what Ascent is going to be unfolding in front of us. Yeah, you know, you talked about, like, Counter-Strike map equivalents. Ascent is the mirage of uh, this game. I have to Dust say yes. Is going, Dust2 <laughs> is easily, like, uh, Haven, but Mir Mirage and Ascent on Valorant, same thing. There is... It's the... It, the map design is the same. It has all of the exact same ways for it to work. The only difference is that there's tree where cat ends instead of market. Wait a minute. Same thing. It, like it's, I don't know. But Trotta agreeing with me definitely makes me want to go on a tangent. But regardless of that, Sam, oh boy. we're looking at this. We're looking at now all of these guys ready to hopefully not get 11 to 1. Hopefully not. That's that's what we're looking for. That's what we're hoping to see here. Starting out on attack, maybe be able to do something for them, but already lock-in's coming very quick, and we're seeing the pretty stereotypical lineup that we have out of Ascent. Yeah, I mean, stereotypical, but funny thing, I was actually listening to these players talk in between games, and they bet that uh, one of them was going to pick KO, and they kind of had this agreement, if I pick KO, you pick KO, so they're going for KO on this second map here, so uh, I'm really excited to see how it's going to be going out. Stellar, one of the highest tier KOs that we've seen in just Valorant Esports. Kimmy, we have seen pop off quite a bit on KO as well in their records, so I think we, wait, Stellar, not going on the KO. Nope, nope, you're you're baiting me, man. You're baiting me. <laughs> Stellar, Stellar's baiting us out. Yeah. yeah you, you, you can't trust Stellar. Yeah. They're going back and forth. It, it's got to so be though, a mirrored team comp. I think it, wait, uh, yeah, mirrored team comp yeah, 100%. Yeah, completely mirrored. Wait. Exa's just loving Astra today. Bringing back that old school meta. Okay. I don't think we've seen Exa on Omen, but every time they've picked a controller, it has been the Astra all day. So... Nothing surprising. It's just choose your agent. I'm proud of you for nah. sticking your guns. They've had great success with it so far, right? Why, why change it if it ain't broke? Still, though, everything is going to be looking exactly the same. Zobie's out there. They're crying. Their tears streaming down their face. If they look back on this VOD, it's a even. It's pretty much what we see all the time out of Ascent. I do like that Astro picked up from I, I like I like something going a little bit different here. I mean, their post plan is massive. Exactly. Their post planes are going to be so strong. And, and really, too, when you talk about how defense is going to be for them, again, Astra, that so many different ways, at the very least, to disrupt the attackers coming in. And then talking about, right, obviously, when they're going to be on that post plane, how well she's going to work. It's, it's just something that it, it's, it's a phenomenal agent and a phenomenal way that Exa plays around them as well. I, and, and too, when we look back on what happened with Haven, I, Omen, Omen did get some utility out of it, but there were also those moments where we saw the paranoia come in, blinding out their own teammates. So it's, it's a little bit rough when that happens. And so I think a little bit more discipline, a little bit more communication is going to be so vital for the success of getting the most out of Omen. Yeah, good point. There's a lot of positioning that you need to know on Omen. One, to benefit your team the most, and also Here. to uh, kind of negate a lot of the power of the attackers. So let's see this now, or defenders, but that's a lot of info. Just a casual four agents suppressed as it is going to be a mid rush. And instead of holding down mid, they actually get aggressive and push right through main get a different angle so wait but attack is it going to be they're going through it hey what <laughs> it's it's nobody expects this happening here 
On the other side of this floor, I thought they could take it off, but wasn't expecting the whole cavalcade of campers over onto them. Edgy, here's the new site. It's, it's, this is where the attack is going to be. The meta has been defined. Piss around. You're the attacker on ascent. Just right run it straight down mid, right into the CT spot. I mean, if they don't stop you, they don't stop you. That's the proper way to play. And Standing ahead. going right through, threading the needle. There they are. He's going to spot and wall bang for a decent amount of damage. Almost killing what? Larry. Wow. Beautiful job. And let's Should find out. Down. Knife gives the info. How much HP? They're at one HP. Larry is at one. <laughs> Solid one. Solid one HP and a 1v3. <laughs> Just going to chill out. They're going to take their time. Die to the... Oh, okay. Now they're finally making their approach. Let's see any kills come uh, out from it. No. Well, Kimmy died. Kimmy. Kimmy. Yeah. Kimmy. Yeah, but they didn't get the ultimate orb from killing Kimmy. And that that's the real problem there. So, uh, you know. Yep. The ultimate economy, especially on a map like Ascent, is so critical because... A Hunter's Fury can make or break a round every time, especially when there's KJs on the team. You gotta have a Hunter's Fury. Couldn't agree more. This is what I like to see from Cappers, though. Both of these starting pistol rounds, it's been press W key and see what we can accomplish. And even with a massive amount of info that Asians and Stellar got out of mid with that recon dart, it just was not. They, that, I don't think they were expecting that, right? You couldn't have expected to straight up push in through CT. And now we're seeing that a site push aggressive once more from Capra's. Just press that W key. Go, go, go. And they're going, and they're going, and they're gone. Here we go, running it down. And we're seeing a lot of damage happen. Zero Cap managing to take out Floor. Floor not having the same success as they did on Haven. But on this mirage of a map, they might be able to get a wall bang through. Another one down on a Kimmy this time. And they're just running it. Trying to jump right in. Uh, uh, no way! Got, you just got shotgun diffed by a classic. Oh no! That kind of that kind of BM. You're gonna be feeling that in the morning. And somehow Asians and Stellar are pulling this back in their favor. Zero cap is so important. Generator with another oh. weapon back and forth. Zero cap has to become Atlas, the weight of the world on their shoulders, and they are holding it, clutching that round in the nick of time Done for campers, but that was not what you wanted to happen on your oh, anti-eco route. I just realized something. Zero cap on the team cappers. I feel like maybe that's why he's the outlier here getting all the kills. He's going against the, the against the grain when it comes to the team synergy, and it's working. Six and nothing right now for the Silva. Insane scoreline, too. Talking about it when we think back towards Haven, how Floor was operating at some peak efficiency. You can tell that Capris is so much more confident on Ascent. Look at how quick oh. they go. And even to rip the head right off of Larry Banks. Poof. Right through the wall, the swarm grenade is going to get rid of them. And now that's a full site takeover by Capris on B. Wow. Spike planted. And that's a final opening in. <laughs> Clear in chat, celebrating the fact that they entried properly and got themselves not only on the board, but on their team for a site. So, let's see this now. We've seen how deadly Floor has been with the Marshall, but, you know, 2v4, what can you do, Floor? One enemy found out remaining. Seven's on the other side of the smoke. The seven timing? behind you. The, 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 the misses the though! The whips, they're just not the shots are coming in for And then you floor! Pinged out. Pinged out by the turret too. So you asked the question, hey. what what do I think of this player? I thought the world and still think the world of floor, and that's why the expectation was so high, you would need to have a, a ladder to space to reach it, and that was definitely bringing a shovel to that ladder. That was a. It was. It was. It was. It's, it was just it was such a weird play. Seven missed the info, and then Floor missed the shot, and then ever and then Zero Cat missed his been, shots. It was. I think is, someone got hit by a concussed grenade. Sorry, I keep cutting you off. No, I'm, I'm just saying it's been a weird day for Jets catching people off guard, but not landing the shots where they should be landing them right. Clear had that happen to them. Now, Floor is having it happen to them. It's. It's. It's pain. It's, it's painful to watch. It really is. And now we're seeing a different look from Cappers this time around, though. Instead of straight, pure speed aggression, slow it down. Poke around. Get a pick here and there. Maybe if we can find it. But the buy is that 
Asians and Stellar have. It's gonna be so difficult. Push through the smoke, Stellar really is going away! Readjust, reorient back onto the head. Fuzz gone. Lord needs to get out of there, but not. Guard is gonna be there. Downfall tree. They fall. One enemy remains. Wow, all of that util dumpage. I mean, that's what makes Valorant so much Five different than planted. any other tactical shooter. Is just you can get hit by a concuss, a stun, a dog, a fade prowler. You can get hit by every animal in the animal kingdom and then get Molly to death. Oh. And it just makes the game so interesting to watch from an outside perspective. And I gotta say, it also makes it interesting that 11 to 1 now turns into a 0 to 4. The turnaround from this team is immaculate on Ascent. What do you think they did? What was the, what was the pre Ascent ritual here, Edgy, that, that's giving them that edge right now that's just completely steamrolling a team? I steamrolled them on Haven. Those are, those are the kind of moments where you get 13 5, Mintel's feeling a little weak, feeling a little it's shaky, down. but hey, it feels like you're back at home and everything is good to go. Well, they turned their monitors on for Shut sure. Ooh, okay, excellent. That's aggressive. I mean, they might need to turn their monitor on, TBH. Oof. And the BM from the casters leads to a beautiful shot from Larry Banks. And now there we go. with the hands of Floor. And this is it. I think the main difference is at the start of last game, Floor was just snowballing. At this point, now with an op in hand, they could do it again. So really, it's just like, when is the ball going to be dropped from the top of the mountain to start? But... Come on. Yeah, Mount crumbles. Oh my god. Give me. You can't do that. No to One oh, it's remaining. Knife, knife kill. Knife Five kill. Knife, knife kill. kill. Knife kill for the oh. <laughs> See our cap <laughs> rotated around, snapped right behind them, but Spoof is like the jump scare that keeps scaring you right back into spawn. That is finally for the first round. Asians and Stellar. Is it Spoof or Spoof? Because this Halloween season, we're watching some great gameplay. I got to say, this this October has been loaded with some really fun games. So uh, shout out to Tim, aka Mr. Fun Haver, for having the event on in the first place. I mean, this has Love been, you. you know, as Tim says it, says it Don't completely saves the T2 job. scene. I mean, esports winner what? Not when uh, we got Mr. Fun Haver and Dreams of Legends to put on the show. We really do appreciate everything that they've done. This is a massive amount of work going into organizing tournaments of these size. And then of course, not even considering the land event that's gonna be happening in Carrollton, Texas, the massive prize pool. We are very, very excited for that. And we are very, very excited to see what's gonna be happening here. Even more so, maybe Clear might get the headshot onto Larry, but no, he's just gonna back away. A little bit of a ping, not gonna get caught up by the owl drone. Floor waiting to see if someone might come into their direction, but that corner is gonna be held. Not looking towards main seven as they poke their head through. It's going to be a battle of a lifetime. But once you put down the cloud first, try to smoke your way to safety. Clear is going to smoke your face off. Whew. Well, if you're talking about smoke in the face, that is someone putting two players down in their places with Larry Banks yet again popping off here. But Exa, yet to be on the scoreboard, might be able to change things for us today. All you got to do is just jump around the corner and clap them. But let's see if cappers are going to be clapping. Looks like they're not. No celebrations today, but technically not a first kill for Exa as they can just pick Kimmy back up. But they won't be able to. Larry and Stellar there to finish it off beautifully. No, they did pick Kimmy back up. Exa doesn't, they get, the, yep. they did, Exa doesn't get their kill now. Yeah, this this Exa robbed of their KO kill. It, it was like I said, right at the last second, they were able to bring, uh, they were able to bring Kimmy back up, but then yeah, the right Larry Banks Stellar combo wombo that just smacks you down into the ground was just, uh, way too much to be dealt with there. And so Asians and Stellar gets another round in their pocket. That's starting to even things back out a little bit, but. Economically speaking, this is actually another round of another you should round run. for Asian Stellar to bring things back and close that scoreline even more so. You're right. I mean, this could be the way to bring the entire game back around and around and around we go. But with an attacking KJ to try to cook things up a bit. Wait, they just jump right over it. It's a fake out. They force the rotates and they hit the B site and clear hits spoof down. Might be able to clean some things up a little bit, but now they're running it down. Clear. Might be able to swing it in and will. Grabbing Larry Banks is huge, but attack. They still don't have all of the best weapons, but who cares if they're getting the picks? They are cleaning house with only remains. sheriffs in hand. 
And it's a that was a beautiful fake out, right? Edgy, you, you realize that you don't have the weapon, so try something crazy. Expand the lockdown, make them think that you're hitting A, and then you hit B, but you're actually still hitting A. So the spike is going to be planted, but I think the real crux of this was the fact that Clear was able to walk away with two, was able to get those picks, was able to get those kills. Now Floor is in a really rough position to try and win this out, this 1v3, and the way that this spread is going to be for them. Could have predicted Seven this. landing All right. nutty shots like that. Could put it to bed as we see a fifth round here for Cap. Yeah, and now Zero Cap is taking a playbook or page out of the playbook of Floor going 10 to 2 of their own so zero is really popping off i gotta say the way that i've watched zero cap's career as a player develop from being a you know pretty small player in the the scene to straight up popping off a lot like i've been watching this guy for years yeah. and, and seeing him here at the top of the scoreboard against a team that has a lot of fans it tells One's you a lot surprise. about the journey that these players have gone through so even if they don't win today they walk away with four hundred dollars in a qualifying uh round over to the finals here so still amazing still is Ooh. off angle approach here the knives are not flying where they wanted it to 30 hp to their name needs to get out of there They've been losing out on their teammate as well x is gone stellar to join them floor back on the high ground seeing if maybe this knife will find its target but the knives are just hitting the walls hitting nothing hitting quite literally air spike being planted on a all five members alive for cappers waiting for the next targets to come through One enemy oh, remaining. good spot god i love how this map is made out of paper mache hopes dreams and a lot of memes and that's gonna be another pick through a wall as ascent lets us see but spoof you just gotta find one you just got you can't let him flawless you Who's gonna make oh. sure that Zero cap. Oh my god! Did you see that flick right over onto the head? Beautifully well done. Now denying the flaw is here, but Cap is still four members alive. And it, it, it feels like a completely different team from what we saw in Haven. Yeah, this is a big come up, and I love it. I like seeing things you know defy expectations i i saw zobi in chat they were saying i don't i doubt this is going to go to a game three well hold your horses zobi because even if you get 11 to 1 doesn't mean that you can't just reverse engineer that energy and bring it right on back so sam we got some ultimates to look forward to in this round i think defense might be inclined to pop maybe one at most oh my gosh that floor wanted to be aggressive that aggressiveness is not going to pay. Right through the smokes again, too. Larry Banks is going to fall. Mid is just proving to be the graveyard of Asians and Sellers. Still going to try, maybe be able to take on something and leave a note that execute from. Cappers is just unreal. Doesn't even need to expend any ultimates here. And like what you were saying, maybe something for the defense. Well, <laughs> weren't even able to get any time to do it. Spike planted. Yeah, I mean, it was a very aggressive mid play, a mid angle. Usually, though, I will give it to their credit, attack hasn't gone mid many rounds here. So, kind of makes sense that they thought that they can do a very up close push up and flank, but this time they were read like a book. Spoof, though, we'll grab foe and might be able to just find the final pick. All you gotta do, Spoof, is get another one. One more. Where could Kimmy be? The site is open, but do you check your corners? Kimmy is glad you don't. A little overexcited, a lot of pressure, right? Riding on you to make sure to close out that round and Kimmy stuck in that corner. Safe as can be, waiting for their opponent to come towards them, hearing all of the footsteps in the world. This time was ticking out, ticking out, running out. Seven and two for Cappers, and this team is just uh, setting new expectations for what's possible on Ascent so far here, Edju. They're, the, the engagements are clean no matter where it's been happening, right? Whether it's been B, mid, or A. They, they get the kills, they walk away with something, and I think we can even go more so talking about clear and talking about zero cap, how this dynamic duo of the Sova and the Jet are getting, out, getting so much here. And again, it's happening as clear already gets the first pick on the spoof. Yeah, I mean, they're coming up big, and Stellar is going to be able to get a nice trade off here, but what else can they do? That's the main question. That's what we have to watch these players rock it. And there it is, Stellar spike with down Exa a. getting the spike. One enemy remaining. And now getting a triple kill. But can they find the fourth? It's a KO diff. It's going to be Kimmy. But first, they have to get past Floor. And Floor is chilling with some aggressive gameplay. So silent. 
four moves, not only efficiently, but to the point where you can't hear a single step. That was just perfect. I, I, I'm an assassin, right? That's exactly what she is. That's exactly what she embodies. And nobody, especially not Kimmy, was expecting them to be on top of that generator after clearing through it. It, it, it's that was a really spectacular round though from Asians and Stellar and I, I think one that at least sims the bleeding right we're looking at seven and three now every every scrap that they can get towards evening back towards that seven and five that they're so desperately looking for I would like to see some of these ultimates expanded now though right as you get get a read on where they're going to be going and maybe pop out the KJ lockdown spoof go ahead and use that or even that cosmic divide that's been chilling out in the pocket these are some of the things just cut off that cut it off bring them back Can I use that? yeah and, and talking about bringing things back in I think we're ready to see these guys bring it back onto this site a, they love a but stellar loves getting multi kills so stellar's gonna do it again let's have some fun and see if they're gonna be able to really duke it out Larry Banks able to get one pick onto seven leaving only two remaining and they're just kind of teasing the fact that they might pick up Kimmy there no, can't do that anymore no they can't we're still alive. It's 2v5 now. It's so difficult. I need to spend any of these ultimates just yet. Definitely Back not. When the only one uh, remaining is Buff. Long. Trying to grab that spike. Try is the key word here. here. As we see the flawless coming Last through. Last round Rage in the half. Seven. All right, well let's get into this. This is going to be an interesting last Our round match. of the half. Hopefully, Sam, this is not where we're going to see a end of the Asian Stellar streak. I think they might be able to finish this off and get us to 7-5. And I, I mean, already if they get that 7-5, it's basically meeting where Capper's was at in get the previous map. We're seeing it already, though. Putting out, poking out, prodding, trying to gather information with that zero point knife, but this doesn't get quite what they were looking for. Seller's gonna be pushed away by that shock dart. The saving grace there for them, no damage to be taken. And now we're seeing Floor in a in a different spot. Rather than wanting to play aggressive, they're they're respecting Cappers now, they're giving them that respect, and they're not going too crazy. And in fact, you can see that across the board, it's entirety here for Asian Seller. Don't play the over aggressive game. Let them come to us. Let them make the mistakes. Gather the information. They kind of played that really well in Haven. But you don't need to be doing that here on a sim where the map is so small. Blocking sight. Yeah, you're right. I think, you know, this is very similar to Sunset in the fact that you kind of have to get a bit aggressive and take as much space early on. And that's what they do. They get up close in pizza. They get up into A. They get up into B. But with that space now created all the info this is when they start splitting off and going for the default and with 40 seconds on the clock they're gonna have to start congealing again before they hit this site because unfortunately i don't think they're gonna be able to take a site with only three to four players they're gonna have to get everybody together left. oh spook i do have heard that coming through oh, still oh, blinded oh, out though perfectly executed i clearly was able to get the kill off of that now with the knives in their hands larry banks is gone the flip side in mid floor is going to get that but the spike that was everything on zero One enemy remaining. they still have to run their way through Ten time is starting to left. run low they do have enough and with the final remaining player of asians and seller exa spike planted went out the 1v3 and get the defuse well x has won quite a few of these before but if they win this round they get more kills this round than they have and that might actually be what exa does 12 bullets in a swing We'll be tapping them out, and this could be rough, but a swing is all he needs. But no, Exa has already doubled their kills overall in this half, in this one round. And now for the cherry on top, you gotta find the non-capping cap or zero cap. Yeah, you do kind of have an idea where they're gonna be at, but clearing through, sweeping left and right, just in front of them though with zero cap, and there is no Switching cap sides. happening there, as we have a 8-4 half going in favor of cappers. Wow. And that's exactly what we wanted to be seeing here. But we also wanted to see another face in this game. And that, of course, is the OG caster from our semis. That's right. Ravishing Ravish has figured out why ISPs suck and has brought back the internet. So welcome back, Ravish. How you doing? Brother, I am stressed out. I am pissed off. And I am currently here. So 
Let's hope that I, I was able to finagle my internet online because the rest of Canada right now is still suffering under the rule of Rogers. If you're Canadian and watching this, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah, uh, hopefully these settings will keep me online for the next little bit. And let's see what goes on as we get into next round of the half. Eight to four, not too bad at all. Yeah, not too terrible there. And if you are a Canadian watching us, please tell us how you got your internet back. Let's see Floor, though, trying to now hit it in with Exa getting a clean one tap. Floor getting another one to clean it up. And that is Stellar working their way through. But Seven is back online. A lucky number to get two numbers on the board for kills. And now we're seeing one player versus two with attack wanting to get that bomb back and it's stuck down Last player standing. oh my god with the third looking to rack up for the just the fourth though but waiting around hurley banks to come on slide through nice shot put out of him to push them to the ninth here but you what did i miss man what what went on here so far <laughs> catch me up Okay, so in game one, uh, we saw Asians and Stellar win yeah. 11 to 1 in the first half. And Jesus. then we saw a slight little comeback. Hello, and then Asians out. and Stellar decided to stop memeing around and just Time punish them. Feel. We did see a little bit of BM from Jason's some players. Holding. But Jason's at the holding. end of the day, it's about having fun. Uh. And in this game, complete 180. All right. Our Cappers destroyed. on the comeback here, like you're saying. So, I do like that. Let's see if they can bridge the gap right now on the side of Asian Stellar. Judge Gaming, not going to find this value idea. at all. It'll be the dark to go in. Pass the smoke. Seven pops it again. Spike with down. zero cap decimates them by Speedway. And that's just the best. Wow. That's crazy stuff. And Timmy's going to be taking it. Four to ten on the line here. And that is looking a little rough and worse around the where i think we're going for game three here ravage i know you didn't really get a catch game one but it was on haven of all maps so you can kind of assume how an 11 to 1 half on haven goes yeah that's that's crazy i don't see those very often because haven is usually pretty balanced exactly that's why it baffled me and sam I mean, I get it. Uh, also, yeah, big shout out to Sam for coming through here. Sure do a lot. About to back a little bit uh, between desk and now even casting as well. So thank you, Ram. And y'all make sure to give your claps to him in chat. But for now, though, guns are blazing for Stellar and the Asians. Okay, they make the comeback here. Six rounds down. Not, not the largest deficit that we've seen all day, especially for them. But yeah, we need to start right here, right now. Yeah, let's see it now. They're going a little tight. Clear incredibly low. Having to hold that back. All the smokes are just coming through just in time to get them right through market, right onto B. But they might have an issue. Zero cap is here. The Guardian and taps away. Whiffing a few shots and Floor is just going to grab it. And the movement diff. Come on, Floor. Does it every time. And the bomb will get planted with two players standing. That's so sad. I can't believe that happened, man. <laughs> they just jumped around in front of them and styled on them. But hey, funny Kimmy can stop that stuck in the corner again. Wall banged. They're gonna not put it down to a 1v3. Not the cleanest buy around you want. So we'll have to sacrifice a decent amount of the eco to be able to get their guns back. But it is foe on the corner. Coming on back. Come on now, Michael. Let's, let's see what you got for him. Bring that judge game out of front. Uh, out front. Stellar, knife him. Knife him. What? Oh, uh, no uh, knife. He shot early. Dead to the bomb and... Wait, no. What? Team what? Ace. What? Oh, what? You know what? He still got his. No one can say, no one can say nothing to him. We have plenty of time move. <laughs> Yeah. Well, that's only happened six times today. So, uh, anyways, uh, let's see if they are going to get theirs in the next round as we are now at a half to double deficit. Five to ten. I, I honestly hate being at five to ten because it just seems such like it seems so looming when you know you're half away from being where you need to be. But, Ravish, looking at this next round, attack is bringing in Odin's. And that is the classic here. We should see just a spray up between the two of them. Pop back and forth. And as soon as Zero right Cap here. knows what's looming there in front of him, he'll be forced to back right, right on out within a matter of seconds, leaving. 
the rest of the team to go meander towards a site in front of that smoke. They gotta play careful with the one way. So they're gonna tippy toe their way into a main. You gotta tippy toe. You gotta take it one one toe at a time. You, know, you gotta test the waters a bit. So here we go. No. There we go. What a shot. I mean, managed to get traded, but what? Two? Kimmy? Uh -huh. Kimmy cooking? Kimmy cooked. Oh. 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 I have the spike. Larry Banks can take over the kitchen, in fact. Just he said he'll sauce me the pan. I know what I'm doing right now. Easy does it, too, with a two to two left by the other. Vincent and Odin watching two both from the same angle. And now they know they're coming through the dome, my ahead. friend. So you got to watch that wall bang. Seven. Out up against the world, we're looking at him and Spoof even gonna take the tag and the lockdown a lot invested and they gotta gain a lot out of this too. Oh my god, that read was so clean. So clean. I mean, it was a heavy investment, but when the goal is to get rounds, especially when if you lose this game, you lose out on a thousand dollar difference. I don't know if you know this, but... $1,400 versus $400. Ravish, mm -hmm. this is an insane difference in like prize money for uh, first place versus second place. So, you know, arguably $1,000 is online for just this game. Yeah, you are wrong. Here, quick. What's $400 divided by two? I'm in five. 20? Wait, no, I'm an idiot. 20? <laughs> Wait, no, I'm an idiot. no right right. five. Five. Divided by five. Dude, I can't do math, man. I've been thinking about Valorant all day. This game fries my brain. It's such a simple question, but it's 80. It is 80 indeed. Thank you. You just, you just gotta do. You just gotta do whatever 40 divided by five is, which is. 80. I know, but I'm dumb. You see the difference? <laughs> that I do now. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> all good. So, so the question is, so 80 dollars for if you get second is what you're trying to point out. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, but hey, that's the that's a 300 credit shot if anything. Is yeah. there a trade back? That's great. He's around there on site, and he's not going nowhere. Well, foe's going somewhere, going right on top of the scoreboard right now. From the bottom to the top, let's see if he can rise. All you have to do is find Stellar and Exa and Spoof. So it can't be that hard. You got yeah. this. Yeah. Just three people, right? It's two v three. Even though they have like a pretty clean clip of fire, so they can just yeah, just, just ruin their day. And it is it all hits Next stellar effect. Just got the flash, no one's able to check market. Having those smokes are on that side, you just dry walking into death. That's a triple D that you never want to see. So yeah. One more round in their back pocket. Let's hope it doesn't get pickpocketed. Yeah, you never want to have someone just put their hand right where your wallet is because that's not good. And right now, with the threat of a thousand dollars, you don't want someone putting their hand near your money. And I think Asians and Stellar has claimed that cash for their own based on how they played in game one. They're get stressing, they're way. panicking, they're fighting. So. No, 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 no. Oh, 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 oh. oh floor is cooking. Oh my god! AC! Do it! No! No! And the <laughs> 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 oh man! Yeah, go so apparently if you can't let me ace. <laughs> oh no. I don't sometimes floor has <laughs> these rounds where <laughs> where they just Decide to kill piece. the entire lobby the within a matter of seconds. Stops. It's so disgusting. Like, and it's crazy that they do this like effortlessly as well, too. Just no rhyme, no reason. They decide, okay, you die now. And it's awesome. <laughs> this is why actually anytime I cast a game with V1 or fluorescent, it's always nice to look at chat because they cast them up in the funniest ways. Someone in chat today said that fluorescent no was way. God's Who gift not? to the Valorant esports scene. Valid? Yeah. And I don't disagree. Chat's so valid today. Oh, this is also pretty valid. We can put on a smoke in the middle. All the flash actually gets him. They don't clear, clear. 
But Larry Banks doesn't just care about that, though. The trade back works in the favor. Kimi still comes out on top. Is it puts it up three to two as it go towards the site? Kimi still holding their own, watching the flying spike. Well underway as it's dropped on site. And I don't think we can just tell do anything past this. Well, here we go. One Oof. enemy remaining. Nice. Poofs away, My foe. And let's see if they can do it again. All you gotta do is find the final player, Kimmy. The KO, who's killed all their opponents, might have to do it again in a 1v2. Come on. You got all your util, you might be able to cook. So, Kimmy, let's see what you can make. You As the knife roll flashes full util, literally, but the locked on invested in a 1v2. A heavy investment, but they want to make him out if anything, and it's a spray down from two angles. The transfer can't happen, and there we are. Spike we are strong will also be we planted have to, to ensure they Don't get that money that. in the back pocket. A lockdown being used will be worth it. We'll have to wait and see. We are going to have to wait and see. Overall, they got a decent economy of ultimates and money to work with. You compare that over to the defense, who... Uh, cappers uh i think you might be capping to the irs about how much money you make right now it's not working for you so far they have two people with ultimates to try to fall back on clear might be able to pop theirs but you know defense from the shadows that's info or maybe a, a decent flank if you can't get spotted but in my opinion the most useless ultimate on defense on attack it's great yeah it's it's fine uh, I mean, it doesn't necessarily be open all the way, so... Clear! Alright, just managed to tag one, not another one, nice. And Flo even dodges all... <laughs> all of the useless coming his way. Paranoia used to, to, to peek back in and try to get one more with the judge. They don't even know he's here. This could be huge. Oh, never mind. And there it is. More damage, but not enough to fix it. Let's figure this out yet again. They're on the bomb. But a clear! Jump shot him with the knives. Leaves only Kimmy remaining. And Kimmy is going to get spotted. They have all the info they need. And when you got info, you just got to put them together. And just work it out. So, comeback season, everybody. Yeah, four in a row now. Mm-hmm. 11 to 9, like you said, the line of 5 to 10 is just so ominous. It doesn't seem real. That was four rounds in a row. We'll have you, we'll leave you a testament that you present a fourth year, my friend. You know, Ravish, I, I got, I got, I'm going to fuel your ego with this next statement. What's that? They were losing and then you showed up. I don't know hey. what that causation versus correlation is, but uh, take that as you will, man. I don't I don't get it, but they completely shifted how it was. Maybe they were like, oh, Ravish is casting again. It's time to just destroy. So See? I don't know. Maybe, maybe it's you. I mean, it's fair enough. I am a V1 stan, so. Well, Ooh, that is a V1 set with a pick from clear <laughs> just completely shut down that player. But hey, uh, let's see if they're going to be able to do it again. Obviously, all you need to do is find yourself one pick if they can. And that's what they did. Easy enough to win, especially with that. Now the rest of Stellar and the Asians are looking for a way back in. They don't have their smoke flare, so things just got way harder for them. They're gonna need the jet being floored to make all the space to the side of any sort of cover. The spray finds two Larry Banks with the peek out. Bold and brazen does the trick, c'est ridicule. I love that we can see the chat, and I love that chat can see the chat, like One Twitch can see remaining. it. Because you get every time, these guys are very verbal about how that was going, but let's see if... <laughs> Delusional. Let's see it though. Four kills for Larry Banks. You know what's funny? We haven't seen an ace today. We've seen like a bunch of 4Ks. And yeah. <laughs> nobody gets an ace in this game. You know, I didn't think Clay would be a Lulu main. I didn't know that he was a support player. That's crazy. Good for him for actually playing Enchanters, you know, just defying the meta. I wonder what else he actually likes to play. Like, 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 I'll find out later. You gotta but, ask, you know? I, I gotta ask. You're right. I'm not in the lobby though. I don't really want to ask. It's not that serious. I'll invite you. 
Thanks. Just so, just so you can ask <laughs> League of Legends related questions. Yeah, yeah League of Legends questions. League of Valor game. Perfect. Yeah, a post match interview, everybody. Stick around. We're going to find out what League of Legends heroes they play. <laughs> no way, Purata. I put out those about any info. I'm just here. Really, you know, really managed to get a tag. Kimmy staying alive for only three more seconds. Watch their laugh. Watch their life laugh. Yeah, and. Not much of a life that was 20 seconds lived, but let's see if they can find something new. A site is where they want to go again, hitting it twice back to back while Seven is currently just sitting in tree. Shadow but I want to look at what Spoof is doing. That lurk is insane. Might Please be able to find sentry. a pick in mid. Oh, pull your gun out. Thank God. Oh, yeah, no. thank God. Thank God. <laughs> Oh, no. That's why you don't pull your knife out. If, if the time is going in their favor, but in the favor of floor is a pick, and seven gets a double. One enemy remaining. Oh. Yeah. Knocks one down. They should really get the rest back here, too. Chaos still alive. They're defending the body, and we see them on the side. Yeah. X. The faithful guard. Caution. Holds the door. And tie game we go. Wow. Well. Uh, did I think this game was going to be tied? No. Did no. Ravish show up? Yes. Is it tied? Yes. yes. Correlation, causation, not the same thing, but I feel it. That is six rounds in a row, Ravish. I had to hack into the mainframe to make this happen. Literally. Yeah. And I'm glad I did. Uh, bear in mind, this is a force up right now for the side of the cappers. They've got light shields and guns, and we're looking at zero. Uh, and we're looking at zero money right now, so they're gonna be broke. And they don't get this round of things. Look, referee That's rough in Spanish, I think. Well, that's bad my girlfriend, but clear. Now swinging on in. Get out of my Might way. be able to get one. Absolutely oh, no, no, flexing. No, no. <laughs> no, the players are flexing more than anyone else here. Stellar, what? Oh, tapping it down. And let's see it. Looks like it's Evan? gonna be rough. If seven can get a 1v5 ace, right? That would be kind of crazy, right? It would be cool. Ace. It would be. happen, though. Yeah. <laughs> it's a, I've only seen one seven get, uh, get a 1v5 Max ace. Point. And, and that's the kid Johan there. But not going to happen for us right now. All good, yeah. but like we're saying, we got 12 to 11. ADU, if you look at that eco right now, what do we see? Well, right now, if I'm looking at this, they're pulling out guardians. They're pulling out judges. They're pulling out yeah. eh, pretty much a standard eco defense buy. You know, nothing too crazy. They buy a little bit of armor. But I do want to see if they pull out is that lockdown in seven's hands. He got it from getting some frags at the end of that last round. So mm -hmm. let's see it. Yeah, would be huge. No, rare, no real other ultimates online too. The from the shadow is not really useful at all here. They could use that early if they wanted to surmise where they were actually looking to hold. If anything. Would be tough. All right, and they are making a little bit of noise. Seven is going to be able to hold this down. And there we go. We'll grab an orb, and it doesn't actually give them the ultimate. It actually makes them take a lot of damage. And we are seeing the lockdown get popped, but it's just about when. And in that position, it shouldn't be broken unless they can uh, get rushed in. And what is that? Okay, Vic, whatever. But Seven's here, getting two. Larry Banks, everyone low one down. Lane is falling. Hey, so Ravish, about that overtime? You know what? That's cr they, they did that on light shields and almost full eco. So I got to hand it to the Cappers that they made that work flawlessly. Yeah, that, that's what they do. They ain't capping, even though they're... Don't listen to their name. It's a misnomer. All right, they're clapping, yeah. not just capping. They're True. doing everything they need to do. So even if you put an L in cappers, it just turns them into a, another W. I don't know how they map that out, but you can add an L and still take a W if you go from cappers to clappers. But overtime, Ravish, we've casted a lot of overtime today. Let's see how it goes. Yeah, we've seen three OTs today, three? How many OTs? A lot, too many. You know what? I think that's the, the actual correct Consume statement there. Uh, let's see if that changes for now, though. 
So I didn't actually, actually, really actually get to see a ton of defensive side of it, but I can assume it was quite rough for the side of Southern Nations. It was a lot of back and forth when it came to how the early rounds went, but mm -hmm. it really, it, it was on the back of zero cap. The guy was fragging out, just popping off. So uh, at the start, I think the peak he was, was uh, 10 to two. Ow. Yeah. Oh, and there oh. goes the op in Floor's hands. Didn't manage to get clear. Yeah, that is big because they were actually looking at floor clear by mid and then Claire just finds the most opportune moment to be able to probably just wide so we get that. Spoof as well. Give it up for the lives of one and done. Clear. Now our absolute heater has Bladestorm takes on three by themselves. Got sight wide open. This should just be 13. Go give it over to the cappers. Yeah, this could be it. Unless 2v5 retake. We haven't seen it happen yet, but I'm always down for something new. I think it'd be neat, but yeah, Omen on a flank here might be able to just separate these these players out. Yeah, this is this is not impossible. One not enemy remaining. Because they have flooded the site and they would have to like get all one to possibly have a chance at this. And that's what's and happening. The timing that's what's here. happening. Oh I made the beef use well. Ooh. Almost had it though, Ravish. I mean, you said they need a lot of 1v1s Switching to win sides. it. Stellar just kind of went on a point and click adventure, just like right, next, right, next, next, first. next, every time. So, Stellar, as yeah. someone pointed out, is farming right now, playing Farmville on Facebook, just completely just wrecking it. 26 to 15. This is KO. Know what that means right now. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Farmville was a game that was released in 2008 on a, uh, mo on a on a social media platform. There was a mom who neglected their children to play it, and it was about collecting resources in an idle game. <laughs> now that they're caught up, I'm going to use that reference for the rest of the game. <laughs> Thanks. Anytime. Uh, Standing uh, ahead. I personally like uh, Farmers Only right now, starring Stellar. Only person on the app. Uh, but <laughs> that's just personally my preference. Uh, now that's a reference that's very specific. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that, uh, that was yours for free, but by me. <laughs> but <laughs> either way, big round needed. Enemy mug. Still out of the Asians. Seven. Watch the lower angle by logs. There is two around. Straight just come in for floor though, but is it enough? Is the question zero cap? Waiting on the site, stuck between two ends. And one with the ticket to the oh, round saves him zero cap. Takes another. This might be it, but Stella once again, the clutch you can't even count him out. Here we go. Flesh. One flashbang remaining uses it to scare him off. A little, a little tactic there, but KO's on the flank. Clear needs to wait for that left. KO. One enemy and Clear remaining. doesn't. Gets picked off, and Kimmy is alone to end the Spike game. Planted. Would you rather have $80 or $280, Ravish? Oh, I'd rather have. So this run, game goes run. double OT. <laughs> That's what I would have. Switching sides. I mean, Overtime. 280 is nice. Because of $280, you know what I could do? Probably invest in another. Probably invest in another ISP. That's what I could do. You'd have to move a different country if you want to get a better ISP. There, or there are there's an oligopoly in Canada between Bell and Rogers. So all the ideas we're talking about. And Rogers has fiber. Bell does not. Sorry, Bell has fiber. Rogers does not. So I will continue to suffer, or I will find a place with a gigabyte upload download. That is my thing. I'm just gonna go underwater and hook myself up straight to the internet sea cables. I'll be golden. Those aren't a thing. That's how internet is like. You don't get internet from satellites when it comes to going like across countries. That goes underwater cables. There's cables that go from the like North America to Europe. Wait, that's wild. Yeah, and sharks eat them. That's another fun fact about internet cables. The sharks are their main predator. Dude, that's why Shark Week is a thing. They're just watching them eat cables. <laughs> <laughs> that, I think it has been on Shark Week, yeah. I'll send you some <laughs> photos of sharks eating internet cables later. But for no now, thanks. let's look at this gameplay here. <laughs> three look to walk in into tree, like you're saying. I actually catch them all, but just barely at an instance. 
As both players on site got a retreat, I did it. Stopped by the volley, but I don't think they care. The shot that leaves lures one out. It's nice to get kill damage. But it may not be enough as well. Hold the defending enemy the trade going in their favor. Floor left. cleans up two more. It's two oh, one. one. Spike planted. Come on, Larry. Get the info. Oh, wait. That's wall bangable. Bye, friend. Somehow still just weaving and bobbing, but... If they group up, this can set it up. He has such a swing. I think if he manages to get on site, he actually just plays for alt by a main. And that is a such a huge dub for their side to push the map three. As a, I believe map three, we have what here? I know it's not fine. It's it 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 bad last. Breeze, right? No, not Breeze. It is Breeze. It's okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Nice. I think I could be wrong. I could be tripping up. Let me look it up. You know uh, what? Uh, uh, I played a new it's breeze, breeze recently, again, and I li and I still like it. I still dislike it just the same as old breeze. It's still unfun, but it does make for a lot of good gunfights for whenever uh, these teams want to aim. And we do have some serious aimers on both sides here. I mean, aim is, is the name of the game. That's how it works. But let's see if these guys are going to feel the pain with an Odin in the hands of Spoof. Looks like they are going to do a little bit, a tiny amount, to yeah. both clear and the Sova. But it's an Odin battle. Who's going to get wall banged first is the real question. Spoof is playing with fire right now. And I don't know if he has a fire resistance dude here either. He just continues to just shoot back and forth, spraying and praying. But... It, Meanwhile, he has only done some chip damage on both these sides. Nothing substantial either. So, keeping them interested, if anything. There's a slow crawl over its A's there. There's there's a triple stack around. With this Darth to put that out, Shadow they should know that they're here. So, save them because they recover them before. I still want to do this. Tired out. Hmm. It's a slow round. Understandably so. If they lose this, it is a difference of two hundred dollars per person. Thirty seconds which left. Which is so big. And Spoof Ooh. just made a two hundred dollar mistake there with mowing down clear. Might have to find one more. Clear. We wanted to see if that was cleared out. The timing is huge. Zero catch, but he gets that chosen. Look at walk into A and just shot. A a number of people around. Oh my god. They covered all. They'd run out of time. And that's that. Flash. Switching wow. sides. Overtime. All right. Well, this is so interesting to get us into another double overtime. Actually, triple overtime, technically. Um, yeah. So let's see this. I would think in this position that these guys have, maybe the Odin on Spoof's hands might not be a good idea. Maybe you just have to rely on going for frags, pushing past the walls, and getting the headshots. So that's what they're doing. It's going to be Shut full rifle down. versus rifle. No ops, no Odins, nothing too cheesy about it. We're at core Valorant yet again. Yes, sir. This is, this is even good old-fashioned gunplay as you watch the good old hockey game here. Oh, no real info gain here. Just some anti info in terms of where they're looking to be holding. Anything. Dart shot up pretty early on as well. The seller is likely suspecting mid here. Would be so to cross through. And with the with the, the smoke going down, he could actually see if uh move across, but instead he moves away. Obscuring oh, vision. Hey, walk towards A. All right, and here's where they start taking their pot shots and come on. Every time, every time we are spectating this player, smokes are optional. Does it even matter? Oh, she's clear. He's still was there. And we didn't 30 seconds yet. left. They're, they're not 30 seconds. They're gonna have to go in fast. And I didn't realize that the people are rotated, they're looking to go into B main. That's it. Spoof. Swing it up close to personal. One, 
two. Nice. Not three, but Stellar is going to pick it up with 12 seconds remaining. If Larry Bank stops the bomb planner, this game is going to their hands. Stop the planner. It's already stopped. And there it is. Spikes us down. This is a very similarly what happened to Asian Stellar last Switching round as well. Sides. Because they were Match stopped point. in their tracks. They ran out of time. They wanted to walk into A. This time it was B. They couldn't even walk. They couldn't necessarily even rotate it in from either side with no control. And with the flashes gone, they walk into a ton of people waiting for them too. Stellar actually coming out big. And you're looking at the switch angle as well, which works out beautifully with Stellar setting it up with the flash too. Bear that in mind. And again, wow. we go. They're up once more. Got the Odin in hand. Will it work? I hope so. And, you know, for their sake, I hope so. They've had an yeah. insane run, but I'm not biased whatsoever. Let's see it. Zero cap. It's up to you to hold it back. It's oh, the same so angle with you. Oh, one. Nice. Spike down. Seven cleans up. But what a dash. What, what a dash. Clear just got so aggressive and floor was just where they did not expect them to be. And that is now a 2v3. This is doable still for Capris. We've seen Stellar do this before as well. But the biggest issue is, is that they're all centered on Here. site. If Floor manages to take one or gets taken out first, the tides can shift. As previously, they're both going to walk in one by one. Them. Flash. And it'll be floor and actually to win. get the final. Now, your winners of the invitational will be Asians of Stellar. Okay. Uh well, what a game. That was one that I had not anticipated being an amazing comeback in the first place there. So mm. Jesus. How many overtime matches did they play just today? That's the real like, question. Like three, four, bro. I don't know, man. So many. That is just some crazy gameplay. I mean, Stellar, 32 and 19, representing the background they have as a pro player for years. I think they've been, they've been a pro player for nine years, which is longer than some people who play Valorant have been alive. Yeah. So that's crazy to me. But looking at Stellar's gameplay, looking yeah. at the rest of them, Ravish, I know you didn't get to see a lot, but overall, how are you feeling about how finals Oh, like just played it through. Wait, that was Johan. I thought it was somebody different. Oh, that's the kid Johan, bro. Damn. Uh, Clear. Uh, but I, I don't know. Uh, that's seven being uh, four, oh, four yeah. seven two. Yeah. I, I was gonna say, yeah, it was ridiculous play gameplay. The fact that they came back from like what it be seven rounds down, right? They pull yeah. it off, fought to the finish. Ridiculous <laughs> stuff. And one, two, three, four, excellent five, six, gameplay. Seven. Nonetheless, seven. too. Yes, yeah, seven rounds in a row that they managed to push things back, man. But incredible. And Stellar actually living up to his name. There's a reason why it's, it's him and the team. Yeah, I mean, that was kind of how our analysts would describe it, a pug team. So I'll let them describe the overall arch of the game and the series. So sending it back over to you, Trotta. Sounds good. Hey, Thank you, Edu. <laughs> and Sam. Sam. And Sam. <laughs> I mean, come on now. It's all right. And, and you and Ravishing, thank you so much for the amazing casting that you did on Trotta, a map that went 16-14. But another triple overtime. I Yeah, I honestly, I wasn't expecting that. I, I really thought that cappers were, were going to pull through and, and going to win that one. And I mean, the fact that Asians and Stellar brought it back and just kept... Seven rounds. Yeah, they... I don't even, they just found their, found their footing and they just brought it back and they felt comfortable. And the fact that they won in OT as well, it was a nail biter. It was a nail biter the entire time. And this was, and to give it to Cappers, right? It was a completely different team than when we saw in Haven. That first map was 13 and five and it looked like it was going to happen again. Like it was just right there, but Cappers, he just let Asians and Stellar run away with it. And I want to harken back to what Ravishing said. Sometimes it's just that one round that you need. You get that foothold, and then it just becomes an unstoppable 
force. And that is exactly what happened with Asians and Stellar. Even more so, once again, Stellar dropping 32 kills, 19 deaths, and 13 assists for that map ascent alone. Yeah, I... I don't. I don't even actually have words right now. The the Odin the Odins ended up working out. They got some damage and stuff, but like, I just I don't have words. I mean, Stellar absolutely fried for Asian and Stellar, like one hundred percent. Um, yeah. I mean, that's about all I can add for that. Um, if you guys haven't already, be sure to type DTL in chat. Uh, I'll give you guys a few minutes or so to be able to do so. Then we'll go ahead and draw the giveaway for the $50 Valorant gift card. Um, just follow us on this Twitch channel, follow us on Twitter and yeah, type DTL in chat and you guys can have a chance to win that. Something um, really cool, something that I'm going to be doing myself, by the way, this is still uh, an, an exciting matchup though. Trata, this is also something that we're going to be able to see again at the upcoming Fun Haver Invitational Land, these two teams will get hopefully another opportunity to go up against each other. And that means, of course, for Asians and Stellar, a nice big chunk of the $2,000 prize pool, $1,400 just pocketed. And I'm not going to try to do the caster map they, they, they tried to do. Yeah, that's actually, now that I think about it, that's actually crazy. These are the first two teams that are that are qualified into the tournament. Uh, so yeah, we'll be able to see them yet again, potentially go head to head at the land, um, depending on how like bracket and, and seating goes and everything. But, um, yeah, I mean, GG's overall that that's going to be the end of the, the qualifier number one. This was just number one. There's yeah. still three more to go. If I'm uh, correct on that. Time. Yeah, that it, it's crazy to think about that. There's still three more to go. And, uh, I mean, how fast this this whole series uh, got put together, and and with the land final is, is honestly crazy. Uh, shout out to Tim, aka Mr. Fun Haver, uh, for for putting this together. Shout out to everyone behind the scene, production, B stream casters, e even everyone that's been inside the Discord, um, supporting everyone, uh, the supporting staff members. Um, we. We all couldn't have done it without each other, I guess. I don't I don't know what the best way to say it for that is. That much is true. And of course, a big thank you to you who are watching right now. I mean, I saw us, we peaked at like 350 viewers, which is an amazing thing for a community organized tournament. This is just getting started, though. Still three more qualifiers here in the Fun Haver Invitational. This was only just number one. Trotta, I am excited for it. And I think for us, though, that is going to be it. So make sure you go ahead, drop a follow on the Dreams to Legend underscore channel. So that way you get notifications to when this is going to come back. But Trotta, before we go, any final thoughts? Uh, I'm going to head over. I'll give my last final thoughts over there. I can deafen in Discord. You got. You can go talk with the other casters. But is there any that, anything else from you today? I don't think so. I think that's going to be it for me. This was, I mean, an, an incredible matchup between two stellar teams. And we even talked about how it was feeling a little, a little weird for a grand finals, but Ascent really showed up, showed out. And so did Cappers. And I'm excited to see what the improvements can be done for them when it comes to the actual lane itself. All right. Sounds good. Thank you so much again for today, Sam. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys next time.